Sustainability is very much in vogue today. Almost 9 in 10 customers say that they would consider buying a product because of a company's sustainability efforts. But these same customers had no confidence in companies being sustainable for the right reasons. The end result is that customers buy sustainable products only 22% of the time, even when they say they want to. A gigantic disconnect exists between customers, companies, and countries on how to be sustainable and perhaps even why. Somehow, sustainability has become a multi-level political issue. Some Republicans argue that certain environmental restrictions hurt the country's competitiveness. Many Democrats, on the other hand, argue that we need to protect the macroenvironment, even if it costs shareholders. And many people think that companies engage in sustainability initiatives just for reputation management. Everyone realizes that sustainable products that are too costly will only be purchased by a limited set of customers. The flip side is that more customers will presumably buy sustainable products at a lower price as long as the quality of the product has not been compromised in order to meet the price point. Meanwhile, there is a middle of the road view here. Indications are that a company can achieve satisfactory performance even when costs and or prices increase by 27 to 72% for sustainable products.